all right everyone welcome back to elder scrolls online today we are on canarthi's roost that is the starting zone of the old mary dominion it is this little guy right down there see it in relation to the rest of tamriel whoop whoop <laughs> it is very much south south as you get so far okay so let's start this could do it this way I'm not gonna read that letter because typically you just run into our guy at the camp so let's just take that approach just right down here We go from frozen to some to sands to the tropical. Let's do some side quests. Actually, we want to do the side quest. Come no closer. Let's do this. Heed my words. You endanger more than your life should you approach. A foolish spirit. My ambition brought me low but I won't allow it to happen to another. The book before you bears a terrible curse, as do two others. You can hear it call to you, yes? But how? Are you strong enough to resist their call? Could you bring them to the shrine and finish what I did not? Heed my words. The forbidden knowledge within those books isn't for this world. They must be destroyed. It's not just the video. Her head really is cut off. <laughs> the upon each tome is designed to feed souls to oblivion. But if you are able to resist their pull, you can collect the tomes and bring them to the shrine for their destruction. On the shores of Canarthi's Roost, beyond the town of Mistral, it is lit by an ever-burning flame. Should you collect all the tomes, bring them to the shrine without delay. No matter how strong you believe you are, I fear the tones are stronger. You know what? I like this idea. We're side questing. We're going to do the side quests. Then we'll be able to just focus on the main quest afterwards. Okay. Um, it's just a bunch of scribbles from different people. That's what these are going to be. I can't really explain them well. This book had best be worth the price. What? What is that? Wait! I only wanted to make something beautiful. And I feel like the visions we see aren't really directly related to what we read either. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Up, oh, we got another side quest, yo. That one takes you all over the island, so let's do these ones. That do not. Hush, father. I won't leave your side. Sorry for the improvisation, but it's all fun. It's all fun. Okay. Father burns in the fire. My brother missing. Srendar show mercy. Our moon sugar storehouse has caught fire. Father thought to save our livelihood. He ran inside and... The burns weren't bad, but the sweet smoke ruined his lungs. Without powerful medicine, he won't last the day. Father tried to save our alchemical tools. If they survived the fire, I could trade them for medicine. Please, it's all I can do to keep my father alive. This one begs you to salvage the tools from our storehouses. Please return quickly with the tools. 
If I can't trade them for medicine, this one's father will die. You know of moon sugar, yes? The moon sugar cane grows well on these isles. With my people's sweet tooth, there can never be enough to sprinkle on our meals. We must pay our debts. If our neighbors own more land, how do we match their crops at market? We must turn to alchemy to grow better crops, yes? Yes, our crops came in much bigger this season. Not that it matters now. Yes, Saban Ma shares a temper with hurricanes. After a great quarrel with this one, he stormed off and left us short clawed. Father had to cancel his trip to Mistral, and now he's... I haven't seen you around the island before. In the name of Thalmor, what's your business here? Ah, the shipwreck. Worst hurricane I've seen in decades. If you're headed through this plantation, watch your step. Last night, some buildings caught fire. Usually the skeevers keep to themselves, but they're acting up something fierce. I should get back to our inspection. If you see anything suspicious, it's your duty to let us know. Fires don't start themselves. Not yet. As an act of goodwill, the Thalmor Inner Council sent us to aid Headwoman Harani in ending this island smuggler problem. And if this was arson, I'll bring the culprit to justice. Dominion Government. I'm an officer charged with keeping the peace. They sent us to Karnathi's Roost weeks ago. Inspector Tarmar commands us. He's at Laughing Moon's plantation toward the center of the island. Saw him on the way in. We gave his daughter some medical supplies, but he looks bad. Okay. Well, I'll just run through here. You see skeevers everywhere. Nothing there. Some destroy tools. Be gone, Skipper. <laughs> Just opening them. <laughs> Get off my family sled. If you plan to loot my family's plantation, I will give you such a thrashing. Too late, sugar thief. The fire destroyed every last calcinator. Wait, I expected my sister to check on the tools herself. Why did she send a stranger? You lie! My father left yesterday to trade in Mistral, didn't he? Oh no. He set the fires to destroy those damn tools, not to hurt anyone, not to hurt my father. We lost our last harvest to the Thunderbugs, despite the debt. Asbira bought alchemical tools to improve our crop, she said. But last week, I caught her brewing skooma. That vile drug destroys lives. When she refused to stop, I knew what must be done. My sister despises sand under her claws, but recently I saw her digging out on the beach. 
Why else would she be out there, if not to bury Skuma? I should go to my father. Would you look for any Skuma hidden on the beach? I'll destroy it. With the money we spent to rebuild, it will be like the Skuma never happened. I'd rather debt collectors pound at our door than Skuma dealers. Damn my eyes! Father should have been in Mistral. My sister placed colorful seashells near whatever she buried. I bet there is a sack full of skooma vials next to them. I'll be with my father. If you find anything, bring it back to me. I should really go check on my father. It is death in a bottle. Distill moon sugar came the right way, and the crystals make you happy and stupid. Do it the wrong way, and you get shaking fits, you foam at the mouth, and then you die. Not for long. I always know it's month's end when debt collectors pound at our door. But last month, they didn't show. When I asked why, Asmira said not to worry. This must have been her scheme. She's always had father wrapped around her tail. Yes, the stick and skooma. Oi. Freaking <laughs> sick. Walk away! The Cross Tree Bandits won't stand for competition! And there it is! Let's head back! I like how mud crabs are docile in this game, you know? They don't just attack you outright. <laughs> Unlike every other Elder Scrolls game. <laughs> Ah, right, 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 right. They're around here. You there. Come here. Oi. I asked around. Nobody from the shipwreck remembers seeing you before Eagle Strand. No more lies. You're running Skooma, aren't you? No, you're the freaking liar here. You asked, what, everyone? <laughs> Who's really lying here? <laughs> that farmer shook himself to death. You think I don't recognize a skooma overdose when I see one? That I don't know why skeevers are frothing at the mouth? I should arrest a lot of you. So based on what you pick here, you can kind of get different results. Um, I'm just going to play it straight like I usually do, but. That's a lot of skooma. I had my doubts, but I'm glad you came to your senses. Now, what should I do with you? What else are you hiding? Explains why cross tree bandits popped up all around the island. If they're running more and more skooma, they'll approach farmers to brew it directly. That kind of short-sighted greed is what leads to situations like this. That sack of skooma bought your freedom, and a reward for your cooperation. 
Now stand aside. I've got business with these Khajiit. Get up, scum. This is what you get for brewing school. It's a long walk to Mistral. Don't try anything stupid. This one understands. Soldier, keep watch. Head to Mistral in the morning. So, I guess it's however your conscience speaks to you. I myself, I don't know, have been known to agonize over this quest. But, um, I don't know. She did Bruce Guma. He did bur burn the entire farm down. Maybe they need some time to think about what they did and... Yeah. <laughs> Rebond, hopefully. Okay. What is done is done. Let's continue on our book hunt. If we run into any other side quests, of course, we will stop and do them. Where am I going? Ah, guys. Alrighty, we have something here. Don't believe her lies. Freaking Aylet. Actually, no. Let's ignore the Aylet. These guys are everywhere. They're like rodents. Dang, showdown. All right, where do we need to go now? There is a weight shrine, and Mistral, we can ignore that one for now. We will be heading into M Mistral, it is the main city in this zone. Ah, we got a quest. Alrighty, a young Khajiit wandered into camp last night. Said he's looking for Hazak. If anyone asks where I am, I'm dragging this fool off to Hazak's hollow. He'll see the boss before his head and body part ways. We spotted all Mary on the beaches. If you need me, send a runner up and around the hill above Hazak's hollow. Double back to the dock near the entrance. New quest. But that is way over there we are right next to this one so let's continue doing what we were doing on our book hunt actually actually no no i want to grab you i want to grab you i want to grab you Go around. just just quench Quench the crave, you know. <laughs> I, 
I'm, I'm not picking him in front of you guys. I'm not picking him. <laughs> I want to show you how bad I am. <laughs> so. It'll be fun when we get to the public dungeons. Then the real, real action Knowledge pulling starts. Is power. Okay. Let's open this. Da da da. Yeah. Why do I flip through all the pages? Don't know. Finally, Beza Joe will find this fabled brush. What? What is this? Please, no. This one must stop looking. The brush did come into that writing a little bit. Or a painting on the wall and there was a brush next to it. It, there's a lot of details on it. I'm not gonna go too deep into it. Harpies. This is not the place for us. This one does not understand. This shrine is supposed to be lit with an ever-burning flame. Perhaps Shehiradaro has thrown good money after bad. A simple Khajiit, doing what she can to survive. Shehiradaro came to this shrine for guidance. It said the flame gives visions to those who seek it. Answers to unasked questions. Mysteries defined by the stars themselves. And if Sahira Daro makes some gold along the way, all the better. The shrine is key to all of these things. It's a shrine to Hermaeus Mora, Daedric Prince of Knowledge. They say if you stare into the fire, all will be revealed. But without the ever-burning flame, there is no way to find the lost books. Tomes, lost to the ages. They're full of secrets from an earlier time. A connection to our past, and a bridge to our future. It doesn't matter what lies the spirit told. Sahira Daro will find those books. While searching for the shrine, a spirit appeared to me and warned me away. Don't you see? Hermaeus Mora rewards the pursuit of knowledge. The spirit is a test to keep lazy seekers away. That's her. It's the lying spirit. Don't listen to these fool's words. The forbidden tomes must be destroyed. Place them in the shrine's flame, quickly! What? That isn't possible! No matter. I'll rekindle the shrine's fire with my own essence, but you must promise to destroy them. You saw what happens to those who possess the tomes. Then that is a blessing. Once the books begin calling to you, there is little time before they ensnare you completely. Burn the books. Don't let their burden destroy you. You want me to burn books? Oh. oh. <laughs> I could give it to her, but her man is more is crazy. I don't want to burn books. <laughs> Oops. Don't want the pain. Burn the books. Burn the books, burn the books, burn the books. No, I burned the books! No. 
The flames burn us. It hurts. It hurts. No, I burn the books. <laughs> I like books, by the way. <laughs> You've done it. The tomes are gone. I can't hear them anymore. I'm certain. But no one else shall fall into their trap. You managed what I could not. But it is done, which is all that matters. Oh. There you burned the books. Okay, okay. We got another side quest over here. Not that. As part of the Dominion, you will gain security. I'm quite busy, can't you see? I hear your pain, old one. I'm doing what I can. Windcatcher Plantation depends on the great tree, yet it sickens before my eyes. Our fates are like leaves in its branches. Do you see that strange miasma? It appeared on the great tree after the hurricane, like a sickness. I've done what I can, but I fear it's not enough. There's a cave directly beneath us. I called a spirit there to heal the great tree's roots, but it hasn't returned. Would you see what holds the spirit back? And aid it if you can. I can feel the spirit's frustration. It wants to help the great tree. But something prevents it. The spirit is old and powerful. It seeks to move from root to root, aiding the great tree as it's able. But it's a healing spirit of singular purpose. It doesn't know how to defend itself. I'm uncertain. If so, the spirit must be protected from harm while it heals the great tree's roots. It knows what it must do. The great tree shields Windcatcher Plantation from the winter winds and keeps our settlement shaded from the heat of the summer. Its story entwines with ours. When the wind goddess Kanathi first traveled across the heavens, legends say she grew tired and rested in the branches of a small sapling before resuming her journey. That sapling became the great tree and gave Windcatcher Plantation its name. Okay. <laughs> Got a lot to do here. I'm seeing a lot of people out more wind. <laughs> Moral Wind had a very unique starting outfit for you. Compared to the rest, it's kind of boring. And then I just saw someone else in a unique outfit they gave you during one of their other side quests. Sky shard, gotta get our sky shards, yo. <sighs> That's the outfit. That's what you get in more wind. I have it too. Been a Quama master for over a decade. I'm not afraid to admit when I'm up to my neck in droppings, and I sure could use a hand getting out. Ever try piloting a ship through a hurricane while your entire cargo of Quama eggs hatch and go bug nuts? Been there. Can't recommend it. After we wrecked, they made a Quama line toward this cave. I came after them, but they're a bit distracted. They always get surly after hatching, but these Kwama are downright unsociable. I tried to stop them from chewing on those huge roots. <laughs> they objected. Bumped into a fine-looking tree trunk on my way out, thought I was done for, but it kept walking. Oh, 
And Kwama didn't take to it, whatever it was. I heard them munching on it, same as those roots. Mm, the little ones seem scared of it. If you can help the pretty tree trunk do what it needs to do, I bet they'll head back this way. If they'd stop eating those giant roots, they might get better. But I don't blame you if you have to put down a few to save the rest. Just be careful. Nothing fiercer than a crazed Kwama. Not even my sister-in-law. <laughs> Not too much to it. Just follow the Kwama around. Be there as it heals. Keep it safe. Not the Kwama, follow the native guardian, excuse me. <laughs> I'm mixing up words again. I'm sorry. Cool, that's one for me. Ah, uh, this one has a crazy Kwama. That's three, one more. And there you have it. So yeah, it just keeps going around on a rotation and different players follow it. Um, I hate to say this, but you can often tell when a player is brand new to this game. Those racks, they don't have to be wearing them at this point. <laughs> Everyone's given a loot chest with better gear. <laughs> Praise Ifray, the miasma has cleared. Yet I sense this begins a new chapter for the Great Tree. Though the creatures gorge themselves upon its roots, this was a passing instinct. They can be taught to strengthen the Great Tree. And it's not just that player, it's so many different players running around in those rags. <laughs> the Kwama will soon learn the cave is their nest and treat the spirit as their queen. Together, they'll guard the cave against intruders who seek to harm the Great Tree. A new story can frighten any creature until it realizes its role within. Cool, cool. It, it is a happy ending. Look, look. It's a happy ending. Thought I was ruined, but that spinner beneath says Windcatcher Plantation will pay for the Kwama to live in that cave. I'm not above taking coin from crazy folk. Might even be enough to repair my ship. See? Happy ending. Okay. <laughs> what we got here now? Hazax Hollow. Let's do that. Yeah. 
It's an all is well that ends well situation. Alright, yeah, freakers. You're the wolves of Kenarthi's roost. And there are only two way shrines on this island. We already have one as a starting way shrine, and then there's that one there. But that's the city, so we can hold off on it. on this island. See? See? Players in there. <laughs> Starting rags. <laughs> Well, they're learning. Alrighty. Oh, 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 look at this, look at this. Have we gotten one of these yet? Ah! We... That's all it takes to unlock the thieves skill... Skill line. See? Check it out. New skill line. What, what? To help with your sneaking and pickpocketing and all that... Good stuff that no one with a conscience should be doing. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and do it in this game <laughs> eventually. <laughs> There she is. Don't run past me. I'm right here. Have you seen Gary? He's missing. Zulana's son. When his father succumbed to Skuma, Gary swore vengeance upon the smugglers responsible. This one tried to stop him from going by himself, but Gary wouldn't listen. Yes, that's Gary. Please, you must find him. He's all Zulana has left. Zulana heard many things in Mistral. Hazak leads the skooma peddlers within a nearby cove. Its entrance is on the beach across from Cat's Eye Key. A vile skooma peddler. Hazak destroys families and brings great warriors low with his filth. Skuma is distilled from moon sugar, which is sacred to we who worship the moons and stars. 
But those who use Skuma for pleasure quickly become slaves to its visions. Scum like Hazek profit from this addiction. Gary hasn't learned that fear and hatred cloud judgment. Zulana said he would be foolish to seek revenge, but he's a boy, and they have more important things to do than listen to their mothers, huh? He hurt his back in a terrible accident. He took skuma to relieve the pain, and it came to both sustain and enslave him. After years of its youth, he withered to a shell of his former self. Gary hasn't learned that fear and hatred cloud judgment. Zulana said he would be foolish to seek revenge, but he's a boy, and they have more important things to do than listen to their mothers, huh? Did I click on that one already? I'm not sure. But whatever. Let's be up some more bandits. Starting with the guard that was not paying attention. Gone, bandit. I'll never join Hazak. Mother sent you? It is good she can't see me trussed up like a sheep. Uh, the bandits were more challenging than I expected. She could have killed a few when she scouted the cave, but no, I must always be tested. You thought her a poor mewling widow? Ha! Mother is not entirely what she seems. She warned me to wait and watch before approaching Hazak's hollow. I have much to learn. I sought to avenge my father's memory, but was captured by bandits. Mother saw my capture and sent you here to assist. Next, you untie me and we kill Hazak for his crimes. Simple, you see? Then when you free me, I'll fight Hazak alone and will likely die. Hazak will poison more families with skooma, another will swear revenge, be captured <laughs> by bandits, and wait for death in this cave. Or we can kill Hazak. Still simple, yes? Oh, he got you. <laughs> right. Now, untie my bonds so we can look for the key to Hazak's lair. Swish slash poke, done. <laughs> I can hardly believe it. I'm free. Smooth talk in there. <laughs> <laughs> Locked. Must be a key around here somewhere. Ah, right. 
I'm not paying attention. We got the key. Let's go check out Hazak. And this is going to be the last quest for today. So let's finish it up here. What have you done? Then you have done what I could not. My husband now rests with the ancestors, free of the Skuma enslaving him. When Hazek embraced Skuma with more affection than he did with me, I gave him every chance to claw his way back. But Skuma peddlers are slavers of the mind itself. When Hazek turned his addiction into enterprise, there was no return. Poisoned arrows to stun, a blade to finish. I spoke to each as they lay frozen on the dock, before adding crescent moons to their throats. These unclawed shaveskins had it coming for pulling Kari's father into their fold. I note the ardor of the moons within you and sent you to aid Kari. That is help, yes? But I would know. How did my son fare against Hazak? Did he fight bravely as he was taught? Eh, he was fighting. Yeah. Then Kari learns to stand with allies rather than on his own. He shows me he is ready. With time and training, he will honor his ancestors. Well, yeah, he pretty much coerced you into fighting. <laughs> with them. <laughs> Ajir Trajijazeri. We justly take by force. At Two Moons Dance, we study the thin line between justice and vengeance. We train so we will always know the difference. Enjoy your life, Walker. You never know when those you love can slip away. Now, I forget what they're called right now, but that slogan is a, a saying, a slogan for a huge major underworld Kaji organization. I unfortunately cannot remember their name right now. Hold on. Maybe we've got time to look it up. Let's see here. Who are these guys? Because that's not their name. That's just their slogan. We are going to look up Azir. Ah, uh, come on, it's not coming up. <laughs> Tell you what, I can do, I can look up it, look into it more later on and perhaps get back to you guys on that. 
<laughs> Gary, you did what mother could not. I did what I knew to be right, to restore our family's honor. You've proven worthy of our name. Do you understand? Yes, mother. I'll dance beneath the two moons, as you've taught me. Then we must complete your training. All right. And that is all for today. So that is the vast majority of the side quests on Kenarthi's Roost. Um, not all of them, though. There is a little bit more. I can only think of one at the moment. But we'll make sure to get them all regardless. But until next time, I wish everyone the very, very best. Thank you for watching. Take care.